Hello everybody, this is video number four in the Cisco Wireless Network series. Here we will practice today how to configure Microsoft DHCP to distribute the IP settings and option for three to access by. Our preparation, people who follow our series, we know what we did in the previous videos, so we, we have to make some changes on these settings to be ready for this lab. The preparation steps is remove Cisco DHSB settings we have configured in the previous lab. So from the course which I've removed DHSB ball which we were creating in the previous video. Number two, I'll factory reset the access point and this is done by powering it off and pressing the bottom mode and power it on again and keep our finger on the bottom until the indicator is stable and release our hand. I'm doing this why because I wanted to reset the settings to factor default to erase the IP address was learned in the previous lab. So it's looked like new access point after this it changed the IP address of wireless controller why because as we said in the previous video access point controller what once it's joined by access point the access point keep the IP address of the controller inside its system so I changed the IP address of wireless controller to make sure as we are in a clean lab okay but here you have to shut down the access point and after this it change the wireless controller and reset the access point to its factory default to make sure it wouldn't catch it okay the next point make sure this access point in a different vlan okay uh, write the IB helper command because I'm using Microsoft Windows DHCP server I have to put the IB helper command under the interface VLAN which is VLAN 22 which will be the VLAN of the access points this is the command uh, IP helper dash address this is the IP address of DHCP server Windows DHCP server why because you know vlan is you know that course switch doesn't allow broadcast domain to move between vlan so if i write that this command i allow all dhcb communication messages to pass through the vlans so the requests from the clients in vlan 22 will be passed to the dhcb server which is 10.0 49.10.82 which is the DHCP server my DHCP server uh, Windows server DHCP okay the situation now is as follow I already I done this I shut down the access point I changed the wireless controller IP address to be 10.10.18.7 and it's the same configuration the same uh, wireless LAN networks SSIDs password the same settings only change the interface the management interface uh, we did it in the previous video so related to this new IP address the option 43 hexadecimal will be as follow the VLAN and we discussed this also the VLAN 22 is the VLAN of the access points good as reset access point to factory default done and this is the access point now we will configure Microsoft Windows the HCB sense okay so let me check here is the core switch i removed dhcp pool 22 so there is ne no any dhcp server supporting or providing or assigning ip addresses in to this vlan uh, my office switch uh, i make sure that uh, the port the interface giga 103 which is connected direct to the access point is operation in the access mode of VLAN 22 it's working in VLAN 22 and it's up now let's check the access point after resetting it 
Coding to discover wireless controller using the HSBIB. Good. That's good point. Let me check. It doesn't contain an IP address. Cisco. Cisco. Enable, please. Cisco. Cisco. Enable. Yes. Cisco. Show IP interface brief. Good. There is no. There is no any IP address. Show run. Go to B. Okay. No configuration here. No IP address. Need to filter it way. Good. Good. So this situation now has happened. Okay. Now go to Microsoft DHCP server. I'm gonna create new scope, new scope. I'll name it uh, VLAN 22. Okay, starting IP address 10.10.22.66. .10 10 10.10.22.66. For example, submit mask. Okay. No exclude. Yes, I want to activate this code. Default router 10.10.22.1. Yeah, got the same. Yes, activate it now. This is our new scope. Good. Now, from the core, yeah. Conf T interface VLAN 22 IP help per address 10, 10, 10. Yes. This is the IP address of the DHCP server. Good. Exit, exit. So now it should take an IP address. It didn't take IP address. By checking the configuration this was wrong IP address, so I have to correct it. Conf T then no IP helper. Yes. No, this is I'll check now. Pop, 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 pop. DHCP address assign interface with 10.10.20 66, which we it will it will appear here. That's it. This is our access point. Good, 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 good. Now it takes the IP address of this mask default root. So, but it didn't know the IP address of the controller because we already changed it okay so we will try option 43 but to be sure I'll wait a little bit to check couldn't resolve Cisco this is a way from discovering the controller via DNS you should put the record in your DNS server by this name and the related IP address. This is the way, and it checking the previous learned way, the second, and uh, the layer three, which if they are in the same VLAN, got via broadcast. So no one of it succeeded. Couldn't deserve the HCB. Didn't deserve it. 
good good so then till now it it didn't and it will not so let's do our task we will go back to this is the DHCP scope I've created in scope option configure go down to option number four three vendor specific info check this checkbox and we will write the hexadecimal option this one okay which indicate for the related uh, the, uh, we describe it previously f1 is constant 04 is the length which is number of controller mul multiplied by the number you have uh, multiplied by 4 so I have one controller multiplied by 4 is equal 4 which is in hexadecimal 04 and uh, 0a which is related to 10 0a 10 18 which is related to uh, 12 and um, about this and 7 which is 0 7 so I write this here F 1 0 4 0 a 0 a 12 0 7 again F 1 0 4 F1 04 0 a 0 a 12 0 7 apply okay let's come to our controller and wait to see Oh, controller database. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Uh, where it is? Yes, it is. Controller database. Option 43, controller address 10.10.18.7. .10 it's good. Obtain the throw DH DHCB. Go join cable controller. I think it's controlling very easy now it will be here for a minute inshallah all apps it will come it will come find it here continue still loading loading ah uh, Still loading, I'm waiting. System is now reloading. Will image upgrade successfully? Good, take your time. Here we come. Sending request. Invalid event. Cab with a uh, handler fail to process. Failed, failed, access point has joined controller. Good, good, good. And here is the HCB option 43 controller controller address obtained through the DHCB. Good. Let's check here. Refresh. Yes here it's DDA2 our MAC address of the exponent is enabled good 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 takes it up joint which one is ours join this one the IP address in 22 VLAN and the same VLAN. address good let me now open my mobile number, my mobile phone, and try to connect to these networks. One of it. And this one. New RC Wi Fi. I'm trying to connect now. Good. 
plants it takes 67 and the VLAN 22 will be represented here by a record in the address please fresh yes Samsung Galaxy my mobile phone yeah so now we have finished our lab today we have configured DHCP to distribute IP settings including option 43 in the previous video we discussed together all the ways of negotiation algorithm between the access point and the wireless controller i hope this have been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing i'm thankful if you subscribe to my channel it helps me a lot and thank you for viewing again